Hey guys, Everything Review here. Today I will be doing a video on how do you connect your PS4 Pro to your computer. It can be PC, MacBook, Windows, Apple, anything like that. Alright, so you have a PlayStation. Okay, and notice how I don't have any HDMIs or anything like that. Here, I'll unplug this just so you guys can see. No HDMI, nothing. All it is is the power. Okay, all you need is your PlayStation, your computer, a USB cord like um, that plugs into your controller, your DualShock 4 controller, and that's all you need. Not a TV, nothing like that, because you're playing it on your computer, of course. So what you want to do is just plug in your PlayStation like you normally do. Do not turn it on yet. All right, open up your computer. Open up a web browser. Go to, you can go to Google. All right, and let's search up PlayStation. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to do it with one hand. PlayStation. Share play. Okay, and then which once you do that, you click this first one, PlayStation.com slash en dash gb slash explore slash ps4, and then the rest of that. So click on that. We'll take you to PlayStation.com. All right, you would say see in action. Oh, sorry. Peggy, sick. That's not it. All right, you would go to. see oh so it would pop up here for you guys but it doesn't for me because I already have SharePlay connected okay so click on it and it will tell you how to use SharePlay if you need extra information all right so once you download that go through the steps and once it's downloaded go to your launch pad or wherever it's saved to Open up the PS4 remote play here. Let me turn my brightness down. Open up PS4 remote play. Go. All right. This is what you want to do. Once you get to here. First, you would sign in. It will make you sign in with your PlayStation account. Open your preferences. And select anything you want. I have best 1080, and then I have it on the very highest. So select use keyboard if you want to type from here to your PlayStation. All right, and do not click start. Don't click anything yet. Next thing you want to do, since I have the newer MacBook Pro with the touch bar, it has the uh, Thunderbolt things. So if you have, like, the regular computer, you just want to have your USB available. Okay, all you need is a USB. You do not need this. This is just for me because I have these Thunderbolt 3 ports. And these, trust me, I do not like. Okay, so you're going to want to go ahead and plug it in to here. Plug this right here into there. All right, guys, once you have it, have, have it connect the, the, once you have the USB connected to your computer, all you want to do now is before you plug this in your top part of your controller with this open you just click your PS button like this that will turn your PS4 on or you can just turn it on manually I guess all right and then once that's on next thing you want to do is then plug it into your controller just like this once it's plugged in you'll have this screen next says use this computer to enjoy your PS4 even while you are away from it. Meaning, you don't need your pre PS4 by you at all. You can just go on your computer, lay down in your room when your PS4 is in like your living room or in a, your kitchen or anything like that. And then you have the preferences, again, for the quality. Now, let's say you're at standard and then you move it to best. It's going to say um, it's only available for CUH. 
dash 7000 series ps4s only so that's like the newer versions of ps4s and it's for the updates that ps4s come out with and frame rates high or standard if it's skipping audio and stuff you want it to be standard and put the quality down a little bit but i have it at the max since my wi-fi is like 110 megabytes per second so then once your ps4 turns white you then want to either click start here or click the op options button. I usually just click the options, click it, and then it's going to say connecting to the PS4. And just like that, you're in. Let me full screen it so you guys can see. Let's turn my brightness up a little bit. So as you can see, it's now connected to my computer from my PS4 only from this. Now, you can take this wherever you want, your computer wherever you want, as long as it's in range with your Wi-Fi. All right, turn the volume down a little bit. And you can connect your mic up to here, and then if you want to talk to other players online or party chat, you would just click this right here. And then you could either full screen it or whatever. And then if a little icon pops up, like, below, and says, um... If a little icon pops up, like your PlayStation icon, it, it means that you have a uh, slow network and it's a network error and it might disconnect. So you can see right now how I click it and it's almost instant. All right, thanks for watching. Watch my other YouTube videos for help on other things and subscribe and like the video. Thank you, bye.